Oh yeah, the fun is about to continue after cranking the offense up to 11 and coming within an eyelash of getting into the college football playoff last year. So here's the deal with the 2015 TCU Horned Frogs. The offense should be fantastic again with quarterback Trevon Boykin back, along with most of the top receivers and everyone of note returning, including Aaron Green for a ground game that should do a little bit more. Now, the line loses left tackle Tyo Fabaluge, but it'll likely start five seniors. The defense is potentially just as dangerous, even though it has to replace both starting linebackers in the 4-2-5 and it has to replace some key parts in the secondary. Overall, though, if the Horn Frogs can handle the pressure of expectations, they might just have the makeup to make that extra step into the playoff. So, how much did the Horn Frogs improve? Last year at this time, the big question mark was the offense. It scored just 301 points. The 2014 team blew past that by Halloween, scoring 604 points on the year. Gary Patterson and this coaching staff, it knows how to adjust. So, what's going to happen? The Horned Frogs are the hunted now, and it's hard to repeat the same magic two years in a row, but the bigger problem just could be the schedule with road games at Minnesota, Kansas State, Oklahoma State, and Oklahoma. However, there isn't a better coach team in America, and again, the Horned Frogs are loaded with talent. The expectations should be at a playoff or bust level considering the success of last year, but a 10-win bar, it's more realistic. I'm Pete Futak, and to dive deeper into the 2015 TCU Horned Frogs, check out the full written preview on Campus Insiders.